What's up, everybody? Blue Midnight Ninja here, coming here. Coming back to you from the dojo. We've got another package from the Let You Pass Around group. This one is coming at us courtesy, I believe, from JD for EDC. By way of KC, Knives Fast. Still don't forget to check KC out. Also, don't forget that he has the Jetstream. I believe it's still on pre order. Definitely go check out JD for EDC. I need to add one of his stickers to my deal here. Just trying to figure out where. I'm running out of room, Captain. Oh, I just noticed this. Hiding inside the stickers. Oh, the killer bunny. Oh, 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 yeah. I have a killer bunny sticker. I have a killer bunny. I have a killer bunny. I have a killer bunny. A killer bunny. Thank you, Casey. Now I just got to make sure my wife doesn't see that because she's liable to beat me up and take it. Anywho. Back to the uh, story. We have a knife. And this is the Quiet Carry. Shh, it's quiet. Like Ninja Quiet. It's the Quiet Carry Drift. Comes in a nice uh, foam cutout box. It's got a thank you for your purchase. They guarantee all their products against defects from the original owner. If you find an issue under normal use, we will repair or replace your Quiet Carry product. Be sure to keep your knife clean, oiled, and sharp. Quiet Carry. Thank you, JD, for EDC for sending us along, letting us all check this thing out. This is the Quiet Carry Drift. It is in LC200N blade steel, and I guess it would be nice if y'all if it was actually under the camera so you could see that. I just realized I was holding it out way too far. And I just realized that there's a smudge on the blade. And my wife just walked into the kitchen, started making noise. Um. Well, I'm trying to do a production. Let's eat your fire. <laughs> so what do we got here the quiet carry drift this bad boy is in lc 200n hole deployment i believe there was a thumb stud deployed drift before this i don't know if that one was in lc 200n or not but this thing is really really cool titanium clip Looks like T8 hardware. No lanyard hole on this side. But there is on the titanium side. Or LC200N. I'm not sure if that's LC200N or titanium. I'll have to look at the web. The inner web, which I should have had pulled up. So actually, actually, hang on, hang on. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go pull up the uh, site. Okay, I'm back. I've got the website pulled up. So we're looking at a titanium backside, titanium clip. We've got LC 200 in for the blade and the liners. It is a frame lock. You've got your hole for deployment, which works. If I wasn't under the camera and performing for people, it worked just fine. Great with the thumb. Middle finger flick, perfect. Very smooth. This thing is running on uh, ceramic polyethylene bearings. And it has a ceram ceramic detent ball. Got a flat grind blade. Got an open length. Of 7.79 inches. We'll get the uh, Stanley powered 
Bluminati tape measure out here. We'll check that out. Yeah, just shy of eight inches. Uh, we got a handle length of what says 4.49 inches. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And a blade length of 3.4. Yep, just shy of three and a half. It says it's a drop point. G10 on the front, nice and nice and grippy G10, man. This stuff is well. I guess if you're going to take it out near water, you definitely don't want your wet hands uh, slipping off of it. So that definitely will not let it slip off. Of course, I may have to brush it down because just rubbing my finger across there, my dry skin just caked up the uh, <laughs> left my epithelials. No, thank you, CSI. I'm going to wipe my stuff down. Let's see what it has for a weight. According to the website, it is a 4.6 ounce blade. I have 4.67 ounces, so yep. Again, my scale is not calibrated to anything. Your boy Bluminati is not that fancy. Definitely a cool blade. Ergos. As you can see, my tiny hand. There's plenty of room there for another finger. And again, as per request from uh, Brother Luke, Mark. Hiya, hiya. Do some ninja cuts. Definitely a good looking blade. Let's see. Where did my paper go? Well, we'll start with the... Uh, Pepsi cardboard. Just mows right through that. Get the mess out of here before the wife yells at me. I seem to have lost my piece of paper. So we will grab... Got some magazine paper here. That thing just moites it. Get out of the way. This thing comes screaming sharp. Very cool. Easy to deploy. That lock bar is a little bit strong, but. Even for my tiny hands, it's easy to manipulate. <laughs> and I got my finger in the hole. <laughs> that hurts. Easy to manipulate. Yes, yes. As long as you don't have tiny fingers and stick your finger all the way through the hole when you try to flip it out. Then it becomes a Chinese finger trap. Da Definitely a cool blade. Let's see what she pairs up to against in size. There's our raccoon. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger than a raccoon. We've got our Spyderco Manix 2. It's a little bit smaller. It's our Para 3. Oop, sorry, bumped the camera. There is, of course, the Tempest Knives Pinion. Looks like they're about the same length and handle and the blade. So very cool. I dig that. And if you just want something itty bitty to, to compare it to, there's the baby banner. If you just absolutely needed something small to compare it, the baby banner is definitely the knife to do it to. Definitely have a nice broad blade. Great feel in the hand. Definitely pinch grip this bad boy.
course the uh, Saturday night Slurpee Saber. This bad boy will definitely open up some uh, bags of dog food and all that other good stuff. I'm digging this. This thing definitely smooth, smooth action. Got about 50% lock up on that. Drops just dandy and it's nice and centered. Definitely a cool one. Well, thank you to JD for EDC for letting us check this out. Appreciate it, brother. Yo, don't forget to go check him out. That's JD for EDC on the YouTubes. And this was the Quiet Carry Drift LC. I believe that's what it's called. They do have uh, multiple variants on the website. You can get them. This this one here you can get for two ninety five. Everything that isn't blackwashed is two hundred ninety five bucks, and for five dollars more you can get it all blacked out. I think that's worth an extra five bucks for sure. But with that, we'll call this video an end, or to an end. Appreciate everybody stopping by. As always, EDC Roundtable. Get you some leather, some hanks, some beard care products, some custom blades, some uh, pocket jewelry. Stuff that's kind of cool like that, you know. Definitely awesome group of guys. Check them out. Show them some love. Don't forget make peace with police because once again we back the blue here at the dojo. Much respect to anybody putting on a uh, uniform and watching out for the rest of humanity. Y'all are loved and respected here. Of course, WickedGesture.com. Go get you some badass shirts. Tell Luke uh, Bluminati says hi. Bluminati saves you 20% off of your order. Once again, Blue, uh, Bluminati. Once again, Wicked Gesture is all I wear. Yes, they're all black shirts. But I don't care. That's my color. So, thanks again for stopping by. Don't forget to hit up all the awesome folks over on uh, Instagram. Tri-State River Valley Creations for stickers. Mateo M. Bomb Jerky for some delicious meat treats. Uh, Alicord Paracord for all your Paracord uh, products. And, of course, Nebucloud for some really wicked uh, crystal sculptures. And with that, Blue Ninja signing off. Love you guys. Peace.